Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Second Chances. Today, we will be talking about the siblings Wachowski and Speed Racer. And we'll be doing it in front of a new backdrop. Also, there is a brand new uh, graphics package that you'll see right now. <laughs> That was great. Pretty good <laughs> graphics package, am I right? Ooh. All right. So to start this week, we're, we're changing the format just a little bit. Two of us, uh, Dave and Casey, very recently watched Speed Racer. Anna, when was the last time you saw Speed Racer? It's been years. Right? It's probably been at least, like, I definitely saw it in the theater and after it was in the theater because I really enjoyed it, but okay. I haven't seen it in, in at least five or six years. Okay, that's a good yeah. amount of time. Yeah. I saw it once and it was like on HBO one random afternoon and I was like three beers drunk. Uh, and I honestly kind of liked it. it. Being three three beers drunk, I think, had a lot to do with Those it. Those the were best like, circumstances. Yeah, and it yeah. was like hanging out with a couple of people and we were all kind of making fun of it. So I, I don't know. <laughs> right. One of you has probably a long road to hoe with me, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, but. not for me because I own a Mach 5 plushie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so this might be a short episode then. Okay, so <laughs> so Casey, you just watched Speed Racer again. I did. What do you think? Um, I don't think it's worth a first time. Oh. So it's hard for me to say it's worth a second time. I'm going to start with the first thing that I noticed. This movie looks like garbage. All the background stuff, like, you know, it's, you've got these uh, green screen, of course, behind all your characters. And they're trying, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it feel like real people in a cartoon. We've done it before. We just did an episode on Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Looks great. They failed here. It kind of looks like Animal Mechanicals. And if you don't know what that is, just wake up at like 8 in the morning, turn on Disney Channel, and watch a bunch of animals turn into trucks and move rocks around. You count them and pick out colors. Honestly, I expected Speed Racer to start picking out colors and explain numbers to me. I, I'm interested in more about how you spend your mornings watching Disney Channel. I have a lot of well, time. Well, I, I don't know. I might get up early and watch Speed Racer with my daughter. <laughs> Uh, Dave? Okay, listen, this is the thing. <laughs> I no. saw... Wait, I let, saw... Me, let me just start by saying yeah. you really pissed me off okay. right now, Casey. You know what really grinds my gears about Casey? <laughs> you, know, um, you know, when I saw Speed Racer in 2008 originally, I saw it in IMAX, I saw it the opening weekend. It was one of the coolest theater experiences I've ever had. It's a big, exciting, fun, thrill ride of a movie, but at the same time, it's a kids movie. You watch it, you very much can tell like this was made for younger kids. That's not saying you can't enjoy it as an adult, but it's a kids movie. That being said, like they, the Wachowskis, they did pick a tone and a look that they were going for. I mean, they were trying to be really innovative with trying to have the backgrounds have the same clarity as the foregrounds to make it look like an anime or a cartoon. Some of it is a little crazy, but I also think like they did a lot of innovative things to to try to make it look as much like the anime as possible, which I don't feel any Hollywood film has ever done before, uh, even up to now. Those races are sick. They're fun. <laughs> I love like the message. I love how like wholesome it is. I love like what what is the message? The I, message. Three beers in, I did I do not remember the, it's, catching it's a message. It's buried deep in there. The, the <laughs> message. Well, what did you think the message was? The message to me was well the whole the whole point of the entire. <laughs> thing was you know racing is is like a, a scam that's been you know controlled by big business right and he's like no I'm the heart of racing and I'm gonna bring it back to the you know, real sport that it is is kind of what the whole thing was that's what you got out that's of that's what I got out of it is that wrong well the thing about Speed Racer is it is a movie about being true to yourself and being yourself and even though there's some really bad people that are doing some kind of social engineering to try to control everybody, Just some you can light still social engineering. Fight. It's not a That's big what deal. It's, it's, it's crazy because you watch it and, and it is like there's almost like a slight sort of Illuminati esque thing going on with the main bad guy because basically he and all the other rich guys are basically controlling like all these races. They're controlling and manipulating the stock market. They're committing fraud to like and like the biggest level possible and like their speed and his family just trying to, just for the love of the sport, okay. just trying to race. Let, let, and I think that's let, beautiful and wholesome and, and really a great message to kids because you get this you get this movie made for kids. It's all about like watch out for giant evil corporations, <laughs> which I love personally. Because they're out there yeah. so, and they're so, after you so, right yeah. now. So honestly, I was a little confused by the fact that you, you saw this message in there about being yourself because the movie itself ends with the brother 
not being himself. He <laughs> oh, literally right. well, gets yeah, who like Matthew surgery Fox? on his face to change himself. Well, that's because that was the way that he tried to to defeat the bad guy because he he had to set that stuff up for Speed so that he could be the man on the inside right. so then Speed could be the one to hit the home run. But then the they slam. do defeat the bad guy and yeah. he still isn't himself. Well, yeah, because they're playing the hero. Yeah, yeah. I know, but why he's like don't you want to tell the truth to your family? And he's like no. I can't put them in harm's way. His family beat up an entire group of ninjas in the desert. <laughs> I think they're gonna be fine. More like so, ninjas. No, they, 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 they're gonna open up that wound. <laughs> wait, 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 real, yeah. real quick, real quick. Nonjas? Like, uh, that's, yeah. that's a line that, from the movie. That is a line, from that is a line I have consistently yeah. quoted like, from that movie ever since like I saw that movie. <laughs> okay. I did enjoy I, that line. Yeah. yeah. I was, I'll give you that. Look, that's, that's a good tip, line. That's, that's a line that tips the scales. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a solid line. There you that go. Line. <laughs> <laughs> movie, I, I think the thing about Speed Racer is like, I'm fine with, with Casey, you being like, I didn't like it, I'm not into it. That's sure, totally yeah. cool. My problem with Speed Racer, and the reason I wanted to do this one for the show, was because I don't think anyone gave it a chance. Like, I remember, like, it had the worst ad camp. Campaign I've ever seen for movies. Their trailers, they try to make it look like this big, dark, like, like br almost brooding, like superhero thing. And it's no, it is the exact opposite. opposite. It's the exact it is, opposite. it's Andy Warhol on a drug binge. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll Wasn't he always that. on a drug binge? And because yeah. this was this was also so. coming coming this is the first thing they did after the Matrix, mm -hmm. right? Wow. So like they were still what a weird follow. -up. It was it was <laughs> yeah. Speed Racer from the people who brought you the Matrix, right. Yeah. right? So they had to lean that way in the advertising. So and, and, and then and so people expected that, and then the people went and saw them. They're like, that's not what this is. That means it's stupid and bad. Yeah. And, and they didn't. They weren't going to it going like this is gonna be a rad kids movie. This is gonna be an exhilarating like race movie. And so I went into it like just. Yo, know, kind of with an open mind, and I loved it. And listen, it's not my favorite movie in the world, but I think people should at least give it a chance because I think what they had tried to accomplish with making it like the anime more than any other live action movie from America, and just the races are so much fun. I feel like the thing that you're you're pushing on is that it's a fun, exciting race movie, and there's a lot to get out of it. But even the race stuff, it's 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 poorly edited. You don't know really what they're doing half the time. It's all so fast and there's so many colors that's on what, the See, that's so my, that. my experience there's with nothing... the movie is, is, is a lot yeah. like that because like I, I like during the like races and everything it's it, they're like flipping and ramps and yeah. they're kind Dude. of in space and the laws of physics and are the, all that. Which is fine. So cool, I but I, can't, I couldn't follow what was going on. The, the flashiest thing, the most flat on surface thing that most people would enjoy, like the races, the pop art stuff, is not well executed. And it and I just didn't enjoy it. There's a lot I don't like about the movie. It doesn't take away from what I do like, but like the stuff with like Spritel and the monkey is too much for it's me. It's really bad. Every time I'm like, and and because I feel like I feel like like, and I don't know where this is coming from. I feel like there was like one of them that was just like we got to double down on this kid and monkey because we got to make sure that we got something for like the four year olds in the audience. Even the studio thing. And too. yeah, that's what, that's yeah. what it feels like. And, and so I don't like that stuff. I do and, love though that they actually bothered to put in Chim Chim. Like yeah, because he's from the anime. Yeah, yeah. It's honestly, funny I'll, that yeah. they actually included Spritel and Chim Chim as, yeah. as parts of it. Was there anything that you actually liked about it? I did actually. I did like the monkey. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're right. Of course. The one thing he did. I'm the four year old going, monkey, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that, but I was bothered by Spritel because he's just the fat kid driven by food. Yeah. Like everything yeah. he does is because food. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And you're like, nah, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, guy sucks. Yeah, yeah. Not a lot of character development on Spritel no. right now. Um, there is a real diversiveness where sometimes the background plates looked amazing and other times they didn't always look amazing. Uh, but it, I, from 2008, which I recall is when it was made, it's one of those things where they were pushing the boundaries of the tech at the time, yeah. but you kind of look back now and... It, it so you gotta go James Cameron. Yeah, you it gotta wait for the technology well. before you make your avatar. Right. Yeah, because for such a grand, like, full-scale movie, it felt like a couple people in a green room with a backplate, yeah. like it feels that way. There's no immersion into the environment for me at all. But the the really silly stuff, I also really like. There's a scene, I, the two scenes I love that are just crazy silly. Uh, you remember where he goes into the race at the end and everyone's like, how can he be here? And everyone's like looking at him because they're all like, you know, they're gonna get him, right? Because right. everyone's against him, yeah. right? And, and there's a million dollar like award to anyone who takes out Speed Racer. Right. And so there's a dude who like, and by the way, the dude's in the Dragon Ball Evolution movie. He's like, like a 
cat or something on his car like that, just oh, looking yeah. at it like <laughs> that. Right. And it's the funniest thing, because it's, <laughs> it's so good. bonkers, but like makes sense for the anime. And I was right. like, that's sick. I mean, am and I, I feel like no. I know what your answer is going to be, because you more or less spoilered yeah. the first uh, part of the episode. You're going to go I watch know. it again, huh? Of course. Uh, yeah, I mean. Of course. Of course. No, no shit. Yeah, now that now that we're talking about it again, it's like I need to get a copy. Yeah. Can, yeah. can one of you guys lend me a copy? It was we probably. Yes. Okay. I mean, for I. Like the couple little things, like the Nanja's line that I'd completely forgotten mm. about, kind of like, you know, tick it up there a little bit in my memory. But honestly, I'm not going back to it because I really don't think that one day I watched it three beers drunk with a couple friends. I think that is the upper threshold of the enjoyment I'm going to get out of this movie, so I'm just going to let that live in the back of my head like that, I think. Clint still said it was good, so... <laughs> so, so that's because he was three, three to one. He was too drunk to notice that every transition was the same transition. No, it was not. It actually was no. not. Oh, no. oh, oh it that. is. It is not. And, they, and, they, and some of it is literally from the anime, like when the people are moving across to wipe yeah. it, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's awesome in anime form, but it just didn't translate right. Yeah, but that's the okay. problem, okay. dude. Okay, okay. guys. You know, I, no, no, hey, here. <laughs> it's let's, let, let's let everybody okay. watching this continue this argument down in the comments. Get down there and let us know if you're going to give Speed Racer a second chance or not. Or if you think Speed Racer even deserves a second chance at all. Let us know down in the comments. Click like and subscribe. Stick around Cinefix for more movie stuff.